Hello my friends. Right, well, if you've been watching the videos, then you will know that I have been down to Benidorm in my Porsche Taycan against Jeff Buys cars in his Volvo, in his old Volvo petrol. Now, I waxed lyrical about the French um, motorways and how fantastic they were and how empty they were. And they were just, it was a breeze, it was like a dream. However, that dream has now turned into a nightmare because I got the bill for the toll roads for them. No wonder they were empty. So I'm going to go through all the prices of the toll roads and also exactly how much it cost me to charge the car on the way down and on the way back, mounted up and totted up together with the toll roads and also the price of the ferry. Do you know what? I reckon I could have got a few return flights with Jet 2 to Benidorm for that price. So if you're new to the channel, give us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you like the content and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Wait till the end. You might not like me. You might think, oh, this guy's an absolute buffoon. Uh, I probably was actually for paying that for the toll roads. Jeez, I'd have been better off going the back roads or on a plane. Anyway, where am I going here? I need to go right here. Let's get in front of him. Uh, without further ado, my friend friends. And do you know what? I'll never moan about the English roads again. Let's go. Right, just gonna put some charge in the car. Unfortunately, I wanna put it in uh, Instavolt, which is the most expensive charging points. Uh, now then, um, I'm gonna go and get a coffee as well, which brings me to uh, Starbucks. When I charged up and did all the charging over in France and over in Spain, etc. Uh, oh, that's good. Two hours parking, otherwise you get a fine and there's a camera on it. Uh, very good. Do you know what? Isn't there a lot of these camera, camera things now on car parks? It's a scam, isn't it? You have to mount up and tot in all the cost. There we go. Get as close as I can. You have to mount in and tot in the cost of coffee, cakes, drinks and all that lot because every time you pull over to charge you end up going to have a coffee and then you end up having to stop for a wee then going for another charge getting more coffee and it goes into some kind of spiral doesn't it so i'm going to go in starbucks get all the prices together for the toll roads let me turn this milk flow off uh, for the toll roads etc uh, and also for the um, cost of the electricity also the cost of the um ferry and if i can i'll try and work out roughly what it is for the cost of coffees etc and things like that um, i won't put the cost of the hotel in there although should i should I, we should really put the cost of the hotel in but i probably well let's let, let me see whether i can find that out and we'll tot it out don't go anywhere and i'll see you in a minute i just need to put some uh, electricity in you know <sighs> Blooming cables are heavy. Tell you what, if you're disabled, you know, it's going to be very difficult to lift one of these cables and shove it into your car. Anyway, plug in. Come on. I think you'll find Tesla cables are a lot lighter. Anyway, let's put that in. Do you not think that motorists, like now, they're an easy target? Cameras on here, etc. So you get two hours to park and then that is it. Same in service stations. Motorists all the time now, we're just slapped and taken advantage of. And these parking companies, they're taking advantage of it as well. Everybody's like leasing out or selling off their car parks to these parking companies that I th a lot, reckon a lot of the time, they're bent, they're bent. Shame on them. Anyway, <laughs> let me go and get a coffee and work all this costing out. Then I'll come back to you and we'll go through it and you can tell me uh, what you think. Guess though first, how much has it cost me to charge and also for the tolls? Let's not bring in the cost of the coffee and complicate stuff. Uh, just the cost of the tolls and the cost of the electricity. We'll work out the ferry and other stuff after separately, but just for the tolls and the electricity. How much do you think it cost me to get there and back? Onwards. 
There you go, UK parking solutions. Now, I'm not saying that you should do this, but you know in autumn or whatever, when leaves come off of the trees, what happens if a leaf just sticks to the front of your number plate and you can't see the number plate when you enter a car park? Just saying, that'd be a shame, wouldn't it? UK parking solutions would lose out because they wouldn't be able to read your number plate. Right, let me just uh, put this back because this is costing me money. By the way, I've worked out all the costings uh, for my trip to Benidorm in this electric car and about choked on my coffee. I'll come to it in a minute. I mean, I, this was shocking. Let me just get this out because this is going to cost a fortune. Instavolt really like to shaft you. Right. Come on, out. Get out. Get out. Stop. There we go. Let's pop this back. £55.09. 86%, 207 miles of range I've got now, and that's how much that cost me. Ridiculous, and I was down to about, I think, 7% of battery or something. Good grief. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get down to the costs for my trip from the UK to Benidorm. Now, I have to say, I was a little bit shocked at the cost of sundries, meaning coffees, etc., sandwiches, while you're actually charging. So get your pens and your paper and pencils and paper together and work this all out because it is quite interesting. First of all, I've gone through everything. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comments section down below. Um, first of all, the ferry to Calais cost me. I've done this in euros, by the way. So this is in euros, not in pounds. So, and you can work that out, Google it and translate it into pounds if you want. Um, there's no point in me doing that because obviously things change on a daily basis, but you'll get a rough idea. So first of all, the, the uh, ferry to Calais was 115 euros and uh, 80, uh, sorry, ferry to Calais, 115 euros and 80 cent. Uh, so that was the ferry to Calais. Um, and then the toll road cost there and back. Now this is what shocked me. I'm waxing lyrical about the, the uh, French roads saying how empty they were and how amazing they were. I'm not surprised. Good grief. Wait for this. This is there and back, okay? 325 euros to get through France and back to use their roads. No wonder the blooming French don't use them. Good grief. <laughs> Um, so there we go. Subsidised charging costs there and back. Now this wasn't too bad. This is through my Porsche charging card. Now if it's not subsidised, I don't know what it would be unsubsidised. Um, but it was €288.83 for subsidised charging costs uh, there and back. Uh, so that wasn't too bad, I don't think. That, that was pretty good. €288.83 there and back. Um, and then non-subsidised charging cost was €48.61. Uh, that was when I had to use uh, BP charges, I think it was, or something like that anyway. Now, this is interesting. Sundries, coffees, cakes, sandwiches, etc. while you're waiting for the car to charge. You're waiting, we're ready for this. €193. Euros and 67 cent 193 euros and 67 cent that's insane absolutely insane that's almost as much as the actual charging itself so you whatever you think that you're saving on charging you're actually paying it on your food as well you're waiting around Benidorm hotel charging was 25 euros and 67 cent and the Benidorm Hotel parking was 33 euros. So I had to pay 33 euros to park there, then another 25 euros 67 to actually charge uh, on their slow charger. The cost of the hotel in Benidorm for seven nights was 776 euros and 67 cents. And then on the way back, uh, for my journey back up to um, Calais, the halfway hotel there uh, in, uh, oh sorry, no, the halfway hotel for Milau. Uh, which was on the way down was uh, 117 euros and 40 cent. That was when I stayed with Jeff. And the halfway hotel for the return journey in that wonderful cockroach hotel, uh, <laughs> where I wasn't the only one in the room, um, 
was uh, that was the Ibis budget hotel was 64 euros and 90 cent and then the ferry to Dover which I booked at last minute when I got there because um, I didn't want to uh, I just wanted to get on the ferry and get back to be honest was 190 euros and 25 cent so all in total there for the entire trip was 2,000, I think I've got this right, I've dotted it all up twice, let me know if I haven't, 2,179 euros and 80 cent. That was to drive down, drive back, uh, in charging and everything, uh, everything all together. I haven't totted up the food while I was there, etc., because I didn't go that in depth to it. Um, I'd have had to eat anyway. But that gives you an idea there. So toll roads, 325 euros and subsidized charging costs nearly 300 euros um but i mean what's staggering what's staggering really and it doesn't just apply to charging when you go abroad it's when you do here it's like it's cost me what was it 50 odd pounds here to charge here and i've gone into starbucks and spent another four pound odd on a coffee so you've got to take into consideration your cost of sundries and your eating and your coffees etc which people have actually said to me on the videos before you've got to take that into consideration and the evangelists say no no you don't because you'd have a coffee anyway i wouldn't have had a coffee this morning i'd have just gone straight to the office and done some work but i've had to charge up because i'm out of charge uh, and i'm over here in leeds so there you go that's all the costs for me getting to benidorm and back again in my electric car i can tell you <coughs> I'm joking, I'm not surprised. I can tell you, it would have been a lot cheaper to go on Jet 2. Um, so there we go, uh, that's it. I think what I've learnt out of that though is the cost of sundries and coffees etc. And it does mount up over the year. If you're charging, if you charge your car on public chargers, say, I don't know, what would you charge? Probably 24, 36 times over the year or whatever, depending on how much you drive. Top that up with your coffees included and a donut or a cake, and that also mounts up. So there we go. That's all from me today. That was a quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be back on a plane again very soon. Uh, we're going to Le Mans with Jeff. Uh, I'm going to uh, race there on a train uh, on the Eurostar against him in a car. Uh, I'm also going to take a plane somewhere as well. So we're going to got lots and lots more of content coming your way. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope that gives you an idea. It gave me an idea. I'd not totted it all up. Good grief. Crikey. Right, I shall catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Blimey, sun's out.